Mm-hmm. Good life. morning. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. You're welcome. <laughs> it's Thursday at 9 a.m. It's 9 a.m. and 12 seconds, 13 seconds, 14 seconds. Hey, Wild Jasmine. Look, the posh hanger's awake this morning. It's early in California. <laughs> Monica's awake? Isn't it like 3 o'clock in the morning there? Monica time? I think so. I think so. She's never awake this early. 7 a.m. in California. That's like 3 a.m. for her. Right? It is. It is. Although I did text her one day this week and it was like 5 or might have even been earlier than that. And she immediately texted me back. So. Really? She did. She did. Hmm. Howdy from Oregon. How are you? Hi, Desert Bard. Oregon? Oregon. 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 Origami. Origami. Um, hey, Pamela, we are glad to be back on a Thursday morning. At 9.01. At 9.01. And Ohio checking in. Glad to see everybody else. How is everybody doing today? How are you doing today? It's Thursday. It's Thursday. Yes. <laughs> Did you just... August something. Yeah. It's in August. August 20... Eight? Seven sixty-five. <sighs> Reseller problems. Yes. Listing like a crazy woman. Love it. Love it. How have you been this week? I've been listing like a crazy woman also. Have you? Mm -hmm. You haven't listed anything this week, don't lie. Um <laughs> how have you been this week? Busy. Yes. Busy good. around here, but good. Yeah. Good week. Yeah, good week so far. That can change. Yeah. Doing some crazy cleaning and organizing. One package going out. Everyone counts. Oh, did I lose myself? Sorry. Um, so this morning I had several things that I wanted to talk about. Yeah, what do you want to talk about? This morning I want to talk about managed payments. You didn't do this. Managed payments. Um, the fall seller update. And can you sell used perfume on eBay. All hot topics. That's what this is. Hot topic Thursday. Hot topic Thursday. Yes, yes. But while we wait for everybody to jump on here, um You mean there's going to be a false seller update? There is. Really? It's Didn't we just have an update like yesterday? It feels that way, doesn't it? Um while we wait for everybody to jump on, um the Sorry, that's a different message coming in. Um, over on the Reseller Revolution channel. So on YouTube, on the Reseller Revolution channel, Chrissy over at Frugal Living, Loretta over at Thrift Love Sell, and myself will be live there Monday night, 8 p.m. Central Time. What about me? You will be doing whatever it is that you do when we go live. I'm not invited. Managing the dogs that haven't joined management. Um, yeah, so we're going to talk about all of those things today. Uh, but yeah, so we've got that going. Um, we also have Ecom Chicago coming up in October. Um, mm -hmm. And they sent me a $20 off code. For anybody who wants to go and doesn't have a ticket yet, um, I'll put that I'll put that code here in my story. But if you're interested, send me a direct message and I will get that code for you. It's gonna be a fun event. Um, the best part about Ecom Chicago, in my opinion, is their coaches corner, which is like the day before. The yeah, actual... yeah. So you can any of the speakers. Um, we are speaking, but any of the speakers that you see on their list. Um, you can sign up to get a 15-minute one-on-one chat with them. Um, so, And there's a lot of different speakers from a lot of different kind of avenues and that sort of Unfortunately, uh, sell quick, ship quick, the code does not work for flights. Um, they told me it was cheaper for them to fly to Hawaii than it was to fly to Chicago. Really? Yes. I'd rather so fly to Hawaii. They're going to Hawaii, which can't blame them there. Um, oh, they are going to Hawaii? Yeah. <laughs> Um, Don't blame them. Right? Me either. But if you can't go to Hawaii, uh, consider coming to Ecom Chicago. It really is a good event and a lot of good networking with people outside of just eBay. Yes. 
So um, it's more of a comprehensive e-commerce. Yeah, they had someone in there with insurance and... Amazon Amazon. and Etsy and Print on Demand and... How to run campaigns on Amazon. I mean, it was amazing the amount of knowledge that... So um, that's a good event. And I do have the $20 off code if you are interested. It is in October, like mid-October. But that is Ecom Chicago. Yep. So, but let's... Move right along. Okay. Moving right along. All right. Um, I put up a story this week. Is this once a year? Yes. Ecom Chicago is once a year um, in October. So I put up a story this weekend about managed payments. Um, and I just put it up here. And then, of course, it deletes in 24 hours. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I said we would kind of reiterate it here. This is exciting stuff. Is there anything like that in the West Coast? I don't know. You should start something, Chrissy. Um, I don't... Would give us a reason to come to the West Coast. Like, I needed a reason. But, um, yeah, so I put up a story here about managed payments. Mm-hmm. Managed payments is eBay's new payment processing system. Yep. That is coming into play. Yep. It's not PayPal. It's going to be their own pro- payment processor. Which still will accept PayPal. Yes, it does accept PayPal now. Which means PayPal's not going to be completely thrown out to the curb. No, but that money that comes in will go to eBay. So if a buyer pays with PayPal and you are in their new program, that money will not go to your PayPal account. Right. It will go to eBay. And then eBay will disperse that money out to you. Um, kind of like way Etsy. Yes, does it, it. it is the same payment processor mm-hmm. that Etsy uses. Um, so if you're familiar with Etsy, it's going to work a lot like it does over there. Things to be aware of with managed payments on eBay. First, there are some sellers that are being migrated in now. So this is different than. You've gotten a phone call. You've gotten a pop-up on eBay that says, hey, come join. You have an option to opt in or not. Yes, like volunteer to join. Mm -hmm. This is eBay saying you have to join by this date in order to continue to sell. Um, From what eBay has said, that is going to continue. They will continue to migrate in more sellers up until... 2021 when everyone will have to be on the new payment processor when you get migrated in anybody's guess um it seems like this first wave for the most part um was people that don't utilize the global shipping program because the global shipping program is not available through managed payments today yeah, no, it will be. I mean, it they, will ha- be. they have to, obviously. Yes. They're a global company. Yeah, and- it will be. I'm told it's supposed to be first quarter that global shipping will be available. Um, but you are going to be migrated in at some point. At some point, you're going to get that email that's going to say, hey, you have until this date to get your derriere over here, period. Your derriere. Yes. I said it. Um, so that day is coming. Important to know that because you're going to have to be prepared for that. So. Prepared why? Because when, so let's say you come to me and you buy something Mm -hmm. from me. You pay today, but you've paid eBay today, not me. So tomorrow morning when I go to ship that item, I don't have your money yet. And I still need to buy my shipping label through PayPal. That money, your money is never going to my PayPal account. So I'm going to have to fund out of my own pocket the shipping of your item. Then I'm going to ship the item the next day. eBay is going to transfer your money to my bank account the next day. How quickly it actually hits my bank account depends upon your bank. And the manner in which you paid. So eBay does not send the money until the item is shipped? Or no. do they ship, do send the money within 24 hours? Or 
Split, supposed to be 24 hours. It's not a when it's shipped issue. Okay. Um, so if you have like what, 48 hours shipping on there, you could conceivably have your money prior to shipping. Maybe. Conceivably. I'm just. Maybe. Um, so Thrifty Viking, um, Etsy transfers once, um, Etsy transfers for me um, daily. That's a setting issue. You can set that up differently. Uh, eBay, do you think eBay will take shipping out of balance like Etsy does eventually? I certainly hope so when they completely break apart from PayPal. But there has no been a there has not been an official word on that yet. So for right now, you need to be aware that you're going to have to fund your PayPal account to to ship. To ship. Yes, high desert barb. If a buyer uses American Express, it can take up to a week to get your payment. Yes, that is absolutely true. Um, so yeah, so when you get that money is, is just going to be different so based on your bank, based on the way the buyer pays all of that. Right. So basically plan accordingly as we get closer to the day to which all of us have to. You're going to need to have some money set aside for shipping of items yeah. so that you can start... Because even if then you say, okay, I'm going to transfer money then from my bank account um, and transfer that money into PayPal, mm -hmm. it can take up to seven days for money to get from your bank account to PayPal. Depending on your bank or just as a rule of thumb? Just as a rule of thumb. Um, so you can take cash to like a CVS or I believe a Walmart and for like $3.50, you can immediately transfer cash into your PayPal account if you needed to. But that is going to cost you $3.50 every time you do it. Um, yeah, leave the average cost of shipping for three to five days in your PayPal. Super thrift. Yes, exactly. Yeah. If you resell a project, absolutely. If you use Pirate Ship, you can have your shipping attached to any credit card or debit card. But you're not getting the better top rated seller discount then. If you're a top rated seller. Yes, um, that you get from eBay. It is cheaper on some items, but it is more expensive for like a padded flat rate or a flat rate envelope, those kinds of shipping. So it's just really something to be aware of. As we move forward, you're gonna wanna have a cushion to deal with that in the interim until you get a system in place. But you know, with pirate ship, that is a good alternative in case you find yourself, you don't have enough money in your account to cover shipping for that day. You could use pirate shipping. You know, it's a little more expensive. Yes. But it is an alternative that you can use. Yes. And they um they do integrate fully with eBay, so you can pull your eBay listings into there and then they will push the tracking numbers back so you don't have to do it all manually. Mm -hmm. Do you think this will cause some sellers to change handling time to two to three days to get a handle on the float money, living daily on fish? Um, quite possible if people aren't prepared that they will have to, or we will see people shipping late because they have to. Um, so yes, I don't know if, like I said, fabulously for girl, I don't know if eBay is going to get rid of PayPal to pay for shipping charges if they're going to fully have that on site it would make sense to me that they would but i have not if anybody has heard i have not heard an official word on that yet um and so i don't want to say one way or the other because I, until there's an official word out um but yeah just something to be aware of something to be prepared for because we are all going to mm -hmm. get on that boat um Frugal Living Chrissy, yeah, honestly, I think eBay is the only platform I sell and that I get paid immediately. Yes, it is for us. Also, it does force you to adapt better spending practices. It does force you to have a little bit better handle on your money, to pay attention to what you're selling and your profit margins, all of those kinds of things. Um, so not a bad thing at all, just... It's just change. It's and just, you just change. You need to be aware of it and... When that time comes, you're better prepared. Yeah. So, um, but 
Mimi Amor, yes, if you have large, heavy items that are going to cost a significant amount to ship, that's going to be an issue. Yeah. So, um, lazy reseller. As of right now, yes, the fees on eBay's payment processor will be less than PayPal. So how much less? I don't know, but it is less than. And your fees will be determined upon when you join. So people that are joining earlier are getting a lower fee rate than those people who join later. It's it's a trade-off. Do you join today? And that's not a guaranteed rate for life. Right. It's for right now. So what happens in the future, we will see. Um, but yeah, just something to be aware of, something to prepare for, something to think about as you um, go into fourth quarter and hopefully making a little bit more profit, bringing in some extra money, set aside some of that money too. Yes. Um, Jill, yes, this is a big issue. If you were like us, and sell a lot of multiple items to the same person. So right now, if I sell three items to the same person, PayPal charges me one transaction fee. With the new eBay payment processor system, there will be three transaction fees. So that's gonna, that's an issue. It, it just it is. And again, it's just you got to be prepared yep. for when that flip comes over. You have to know that instead of one transaction fee, there's three transaction fees. So your profitability on said purchase to that item is going to be less. Yes. And reseller projects, you were right. It's time to get those PayPal working capital loans paid off because you are no longer going to have transactions coming into PayPal to pay off that working capital loan. Um, what I have heard, and this is just what I have heard, I have, again, I have not seen this in writing as an official word, but what I have heard is there is a minimum payment due on your working capital loan every 90 days, dependent upon how much money you took out to begin with. That 90 day payment, when you go to, over to eBay, mm -hmm. to their managed payments, becomes a monthly payment payment hmm. so that could be a huge shift for a lot of people to have to come up with that money but that's monthly. just speculation that's not i know that confirmed. it confirmed for one person mm -hmm. who got into managed payments that was true okay so whether or not that will be true for everyone i do not know but nonetheless again as we're moving into fourth quarter hopefully you're making more money just get those PayPal loans paid off, and then you won't have to worry about it when you're into management. Yeah, and if you're not in global shipping, be prepared for eBay to say, we're putting you into it's time to man go. manage payments. So yeah. those of you who may not want to get into managed payments. Maybe you join global shipping. Sign up for global shipping, and that might put off yeah. that. I'm not saying it will. But it might know, be but, a way but to it might, might help, so. buy you some time. Yeah. Um, yes, they can reseller. You're right. They can call the loan due, but I'm with you. I do not think that they will call the loans. Yeah, I don't immediately. think PayPal's been a great company. Um, so I don't think that that's an issue. But you're gonna have to you're gonna have to pay it back. I mean, it's yeah. not like you get to go to manage payments and then you get to say, oh, well, now I don't have to pay PayPal back. That's not how that works. Um, <laughs> no, you still owe them money, so you're gonna have to pay it off. Hmm. Um, so that was managed payments. Yes. Moving along. Moving right along. Um, fall seller update. Fall seller update. Fall seller update is coming out next week. Oh. Wednesday. Snap. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday is D-Day for fall seller update. Um. Do we have any ideas of so what the tea leaves are saying that's going to be in a fall seller update tea leaves are saying that it's going to be basically the same stuff that they talked about at open which was so you've got pay-per-click ads you've got um more seller protections coming different seller protections coming did they um, elaborate on the seller protections they did some i'm sure they will it will be in writing now though mm -hmm. um 
So yeah, Wacky Wednesday fall update. Um, I'm not anticipating anything huge going into fourth quarter. There are some new item specific requirements. Um, I The big ones that I saw for clothing sellers are skirt length and dress length are going to be required. I've seen that. Rumblings. Oh, that's right. They're going to update the item specifics yeah so item specifics is is a big big deal you want to make sure that you know i'm sure you've heard everybody talking about it um you want to make sure that you're filling all of those out much easier to fill them out as you're going than to have to go back and fill them out later yeah so um i'm sure more item specific stuff coming more stuff about managed payments coming i but yeah i don't anticipate anything huge um Will dress length be required to be accurate? Well, I would assume you would want it to be Chevy Vintage. <laughs> no um, Paper click, though. Yeah, so I actually have an appointment Wednesday morning, but I'll see if I can reschedule that. And if I can, then we will do a live Wednesday morning once that update comes out. Breaking news. Yes. Um, but yeah, I'm not overly concerned about it. Um there's been worse. Yeah, yeah, I definitely think that we, this this will be one where you'll be like, yeah, that kind of stinks, but there's been worse. Um, so that's the fall seller update. Look for that on Wednesday. But I'm not, yeah, not overly concerned about it. Um, and then last, the other thing that I wanted to talk about this morning. Dun, dun, dun. This has been all over. There's lots of controversy over this one. Okay. Can you sell used perfumes and lotions on eBay? Hmm. Um, can Matt wear a TV anchor suit? He should. He should. Um, so here's the deal. And I'm just going to put it all out there. Make your own decisions. See, like he doesn't want a part of any controversy. Um, if you go to list in some categories, pre-owned is still available. The actual uh, policy on eBay's site mm -hmm. still says that as long as like a lotion doesn't have an applicator, so you're not rubbing it on your skin. On your leg? On your leg, yes. Um, then it's okay. But eBay has said that the policy is changing. Um, so possibly false seller update might revamp we might be having a whole different conversation come wednesday uh casa chic store has it in writing from ebay go check out her instagram page in writing from ebay that you cannot sell used perfumes or used lotions because there's an fda issue there that makes sense that makes sense now you can sell the empty bottles empty correct? bottles and collectibles right yes that is what the pre-owned Category is four is for the empty bottle because some empty bottles are collectible. Yeah, but you can't sell with the product in liquid it. Liquid or. Yes. Um, so eBay has said in writing, no, can't do it. But do people still list them? Yes, people still list CPAP machines too. Well, it's against policy. Yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things that if they have it in writing that says you can't do it, you're jeopardizing you're jeopardizing your account by selling something, and you could very well be yeah suspended, spanked for it. Yeah, you could get in trouble for it. Yeah. So, um, and Popeye's chicken, exactly. Am I trying to say that people don't list stuff on eBay every day that is against policy? Yeah, well, it happens all the time. Yes, it, it, and, and people get away with it, yeah. and things still sell, and all of that. Yeah, but it's just one of those things you need to know. I mean, because we've sold used perfumes before, mm -hmm. and they, some some of them, can you can make great money on it. But per eBay's mm -hmm. policy, not as of now, but I'm sure come Wednesday, fall seller update, it will be a... a well, you uh, said Casa Chic had a letter from them saying... Yeah, saying that it's not... So unless they reverse action on that and pull it back and say, okay, we're going to allow it, whatever, mm -hmm. which has happened. They have reverse actioned on policy mm -hmm. before. Um, what about Etsy? 
Do you know what the rules are on Etsy on that? Is that something that you could... I don't know the rules on Etsy on that. Um, so that might be an option for I know you. Mercari. It's Mercari, okay. you can, right? It's okay, Mercari. Yeah, so... Um, new and packaged CPAP parts, um, I would stay away from a CPAP machine. The rule is anything that you have to go to a doctor to get. A prescription for. Yes. Um, if you so need you a, to yeah, if you need a prescription for it, you cannot... You can't sell it. You can't sell it. Um, you can sell, like, a medical, like, a stand... That doesn't require... Or like an ace bandage wrap. A base bandage wrap. You don't need a prescription for it. You can sell that. You can't sell anything that requires a prescription. Yes. Yes, Tennessee Thrift. As of today, there is still a pre-owned option. Absolutely. But eBay is saying the policy is changing. So it's quite possible that they just have not taken that option away on the listing or that pre-owned is intended for empty bottles. Yeah, and the last thing you want to do is say... False other update comes out, and they say, we're going to start enforcing it. You don't want to have 100 used perfume items on your store. And now you're stuck with them. And, and, and well, and possibly... Yeah, get in trouble. You get Vero's for them, you know? I mean, so yeah, just be aware. Yeah. Maybe, maybe pull them. I don't know. I mean, that's up to you. But. Or maybe you try to sell them quickly before the update comes <laughs> price, out. Price drop. Fire um, sale. Fire sale them. Um, yeah. You know, but yeah, I would definitely, if I was going out sourcing today, I would absolutely yeah. be proceeding with caution in that area. Absolutely. Until we see, you know, everything's changed, get all of the policies updated. And, and if... You know, Casa Chic says she's got a letter from it. Yeah, they could came from eBay for Business. Theor theoretically, start enforcing that today. Yeah, they could. So just you be never aware. Know. Yeah, just be aware. We're not trying to, you know, freak everybody mm -hmm. out, but you just want to be aware. Yes. Um, Frugal Living says, and remember what we heard at eBay Open, if you have a listing that has an issue and eBay asked you to fix it, they not only pull that listing... But they put all of your listings like on hold until it is fixed. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, so it's it's just something to be like you said. It's just something to be aware of. Um, I would trust the information coming out of eBay for Business. That's in black and white. Like I said, you can go over to yeah. Costa Chic store. You can see it. You can read it for yourself. That's coming directly from them. Yeah. In writing. So I would trust that, um, that maybe there, you know, that there is a policy change happening there, and I would proceed with caution if that is something that you like to sell. So just, you know, things to be aware of as we move forward into fall and into fourth quarter, um, you know, used makeups, used lotions, used perfumes, any of those items, probably best to stay away from for the time being. Yeah. Just until we know for sure. And then, yeah, like I said, if they reverse course, then Katie bar the door. Have at it. Katie bar the door. Katie bar the door. Katie yeah. bar the door. Mm-hmm. You got to say it really fast. Tell me exactly what that means. I don't know. That's a southern saying. That I have no Katie idea. bar the door. Uh-huh. Who's so, Katie and why is she barring the door? I don't know. I don't know. She's in the Or is it a bar door? Probably. Um, super thrift. My sister had that happen. She sold a medical item and then got a notice that we, yes, yes, yes. Uh, so, yes, perfume should be sealed. It should be mm -hmm. sealed to show that it is new. Yep. Um, that is the only way I would do it. Hello to your son, Mary. Um, sell quick, ship quick. Did you just call me a belly itcher? Because that is so not nice. Oh, that is like the worst thing ever. Um, if you didn't see my post this weekend. Wow. Belly itcher. Y'all is a belly itch. Katie bar the door. Uh, so just be aware. Some things changing, some things coming. Start preparing now for your fourth quarter. Are you ready for fourth quarter? Isn't it fourth quarter already? No. October, November, December would be fourth quarter. Isn't it close to fourth quarter already? <laughs> it's picking up for us. Yeah, sales are definitely picking up. Um, which is good because we're listing less. Well, um, and, and we're seeing more of the fourth quarter type items. Now we sell primary and clothing, so that's going to be coats and sweaters. and Yeah. That's picking up, so that's good. Yeah. So many fragrances come unsealed new. I Yeah. 
And yeah. so how are you going to determine that that is new versus used? I don't know those answers. And, and you know, I, I just, I, I guess personally, I, I would stay away, you know, and that's just like when we go sourcing, if I look at something and I question the authenticity of it, I just, I just stay away. But that's just how we are. I mean, we're not telling you how to run your business. I mean, we are it, not risk takers. It, it's your own business. I mean, and you have the right to run your business whatever way you see fit. The only yeah. thing we can do is just relay that information to you and say, and then you make the decision. These are these are the issues coming up, and this is what to look out for. Yeah, and, you and make then, the call. Yeah, you make your own decision. I mean, absolutely. Um. So yeah, it just it just whatever mm-hmm. you decide. Um. So in thrift says my sales on eBay and Posh have been great. That is awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. No, our eBay sales have been fantastic lately. Um. Listing more strategically. Mm-hmm. Because we can't list as much. Because you can't. I can't. I can't. I, I can still photograph. That's true. Like a champ, but I can't. Um, I have an issue with my neck, and so that has slowed me down. Um, so, in thrift, this is my motto. If it's not financing your business, then it's none of my business. Yeah. So, you get to decide. Yeah. And, and that's the great thing about this life. And Yeah, I mean, so... I mean, this is our business, and... We're going to run it the way we see fit. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, no matter what we say, don't take it the wrong way. Yeah. Run, no judgment run your if you business, decide to do it. Yeah. Run your business your own way. I mean, that's... Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm excited about fourth quarter, though. Excited about what's to come. Excited about where we're headed. Changing things up a little I bit. I can't wait till I need an eBay update comes out. Wooey. Right. Paper clicks. Um, if you're not aware of what pay per click is, uh, so right now eBay's, um, oh, hold on, Oak Brook, maybe you need to change positions that you're, yeah, no, it's way beyond that. Um, unfortunately, uh, paper, pay per view clicks. eBay right now, your promoted listings is a pay per sale ad. So if someone buys it and they, they bought it off the promoted listing. You pay the fee. You pay the fee. If they buy it like out of your store or if they just found yours on an organic search, it wasn't promoted listing. You don't pay the fee. Right. If they just click on the item but then they don't purchase it, you don't pay the fee. Pay per click changes in that you would pay every time. Someone clicks on that somebody item. Somebody clicks on that item. Mm-hmm. Now... The rumblings are that it's not really geared towards small sellers, which small sellers would be anybody under like the $10 million mark. Um, so it's not really even geared to the rest of us. Um, so this is probably not going to be a big issue. Even if it hits the update, I don't, I don't foresee it being a big issue. Yeah, will not affect us as small businesses. I don't think that that's even something to be... But I guarantee you someone's going to try it. It may not even be available. Oh, oh, so it may not even... We may not even have the option to use it. May not, okay. It may be a non Yeah, because I watched, I watched the keynote. Um, yeah, and, and he, he talked about it. But I don't remember him saying, but I yeah. wasn't really paying too close of attention. <laughs> Truth. Um, so... Yeah, we're definitely under, yeah, the multi-million dollar seller mark. I think most people here are under the multi-million dollar seller mark. So, um, which is a good thing in my opinion. Is it? Yeah. I really? don't want a warehouse and employees and that's what that takes. And I don't want that. Who says you have to have warehouse employees to be a multi-million dollar oh, seller? Oh, maybe I just sell gold bars. Yeah. Um, you could sell grand pianos. It's true. And cars. They told me to sell grand pianos once. <laughs> I know they did. Uh, no, I you, you I don't even it. think it will be available to us. It's really geared. Yes, yeah. So I can't. Um, so yeah, I I don't think it's going to even be offered to us. But um, things to be aware of because those big sellers, it will be available to them, and there will be a different search placement, and we need to we need to be aware of that as it affects how we're how our, our items are ranked in search against those big sellers. Um, ThreadUp is now on eBay. 
So they're a big seller in our category. Mm -hmm. And chances are pay-per-click is available to them. So how does that affect their ranking within search and subsequently our ranking in search? So just things to be aware of, things that are coming, hmm. but nothing necessarily bad. Change isn't bad. It's just change. Sometimes change is bad. Change isn't bad. Change is always opportunity. There's always an opportunity in there somewhere. Hmm. You be realistic. I'll be optimistic. Um, but yes, yeah, so I don't think anything else really going on this week. Nothing else too exciting? No. Work. Work, work, work. Work, work, work. Work and coaching for you. Yeah, I've got a call here in just a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, next week, September group startup. October will be my last coaching groups for the year. Woohoo! I'll miss it, but um, no, the seller would pay per click, not the buyer. Yeah. Um, oh, Thrifty oh, Lisa, yeah. thank you for the reminder. No shipping on Monday. Monday is Labor Day. Yep. No shipping. No shipping. Three-day weekend. So have fun with that. Um, everybody should be excited about the new seller help page. I'm sure that will come. So that'll be good. Um, reseller Project says woohoo to the group because she's in my group. Um, I'm super excited for that group. It's going to be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. There's some good, great people in that. Yeah. There are always good people, but yeah, it's going to yeah. be. Um, Chicago Ecom is the week after the Chicago Marathon. Lazy Reseller, you're in for the Chicago Marathon. You should just stick around. Um, yes, Kristen is in Clothing Rescue, is in coaching group next month. Um, so she's going to be there too. It's going to be exciting. Yep. So yeah, but October will be the last that I last do one. coaching for a while. Yep. So. And then we will be back live on Wednesday? Wednesday. I have to reschedule that appointment. Okay. Um, but I'll get that done. And then... Um, we will be back next Wednesday morning as soon as the update comes out. So I can't say that it will be exactly at 9 because sometimes that update comes out a little bit late. Um, but as soon as it comes out. Yep. Um, we'll save this to YouTube. YouTube. Mm -hmm. This will go up on YouTube if you missed the first portion. Yep. So you guys have a great day. I'm off to get my call set up. So have fun. Have a great day. Go make some sales. Go fight one. Bye.